Today, I want to show you how to make graphic organizers in Google Slides and be able to share them easily with your students for them to fill out. Hi, I'm Ryan and this is my YouTube channel. Be sure to like this video if it is useful to you. Today, we're going to look at creating graphic organizers, how we can lock items on the slides themselves so students can't modify the what we want the layout to look like and how we can easily put that into other slide projects that we've created for our students. A lot of the concepts I'm gonna be talking about today, I've already talked about two other Google Slides videos. I'm gonna have links to them down in the description. So we're gonna look at what I'm going to create. Here is our first graphic organizer we're going to create in Google Slides. So we're gonna create it, and then we're gonna see how we can share that with others. The graphic organizer I have here is a KWL chart, know, want, and learn, and we're going to create that. The other one I put together just quickly was a T-chart. Now, when you look at this in here, I can't change anything, any other format. I can't change this, I can't change that. I can type and put a title in there, and I can type text down in there, but, I cannot change anything else on this slide. So how do we do that? We create the template as a slide master. And we're going to start this over from scratch. I'm going to create a Google Slides presentation that will contain all of the different graphic organizers that we will want to use in our teaching. That way it's a one-stop shop. They're all in one place. You'll notice in this one, I just have two right now, and we can add more as we go along. To do that, we're going to modify the master slide. Up underneath the view menu, there is a master option. Well, imagine that. And these are all the different slide types that are in the presentation. And they all have names and all that fun stuff. So that's what we're going to modify. So we go to view and master. And I'm going to duplicate, this one is blank. This is the one I'm gonna duplicate. And to do that, I'm going to edit and duplicate. I can also do Control D to duplicate. If I'm on a Mac, that would be Command D. I can also right click on it and say duplicate layout. So now I've got a duplicate and I'm gonna name this KWL. And already, there is our KWL. Shows up when we go to create a new slide. But it's pretty boring right now because it's a blank slide. So we go back to the master slides. So here's my KWL slide, and that's what I named it. We need to make a box for our topic. And I just use the normal drawing tools that I would normal, normally be using and we want to create this ribbon part right here so i'm going to go up to the shapes call outs and there's a neat little ribbon now that's barely enough space to put topic in there see these yellow boxes they make they allow me to change the size so i can make that middle ribbon bigger and i can also change Oh, oh, oh. Give me a little bit more space here. But you can also make the whole ribbon thinner if you want. But we're just going to leave it there and let's create a good font for that. And let's center that. And the other piece is this right here. Center the text in the middle, which it's already doing. Old and let's make that bigger. So there's our topic. Ta -da. And over here is where we want them to be able to add a topic. So I go into, if I just enter a text box, that's for me to put text on the master slide. Students will not be able to change it. I want to enter a title placeholder 
which will give me this box that I can draw. And we'll align that in the center of that box. You can resize this up to match the outside of the box that we're putting that into. It, it's all up to you. Depends on what you want to do. But be sure to center it in the middle so it looks okay. Oh, and then we need to change the font. Solve for point. So now if I would add that know what learn, this is my title. Whoops. And then students can just change that and they won't be able to change this because we did it as the master slide. Ugh. Now we want to draw the boxes, these boxes right here where they're going to enter text. So we go to our drawing tools, shapes, box, try to get it about two thirds. There's our box and duplicate that and duplicate doesn't show up on there. Well, that's just great. And duplicate one more time. Now the next trick I'm gonna show you is in one of my other Google Vi Slides videos. Holding down the shift key, so I'm holding down the shift key, I'm gonna click on those three boxes. And now see they're all three selected. Under Arrange, I can distribute them horizontally, which will make sure they're equal distance between each other. So now I have those three boxes and they're all the same distance apart. Let's show that again. Let's have them way off. So I want this one, I need to put it over here so it knows how to distribute. But now I can select the three boxes, arrange, distribute, horizontally. ba -doo -boom, boom Now, at the top, I wanna put these, what I already know, what I wanna know, and what I learned. And I do those with just another box. You try to, I want the overhang to be the same. But I already know. Then you can center that, center that in the box, fold it if you want, change the font. So I got my one box done. Now I could try to draw that for each one, or I could use our duplicate. Duplicate, drag it over here. But I want to know. Now I'm clicking when it's this cross arrow thingy cursor. I can click on the box and it'll just select that item, that object. And that's when I do the duplicate. If I'm inside the box and hit the duplicate, it's going to think I'm trying to duplicate the um, text. Now our box kind of goes over a little bit. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key, click on all three of these, and you'll see a faint bluish outline, a glow. Just move that over a little bit so it's not right to the edge. Now we wanna put these KWLs in the bottom. And that's just another shape, circle. Okay, center that, center that up and down. Select all, I like to use impact for that. Look at that. Duplicate it. Ah, and if you do that, control Z, or edit undo. <laughs> and if you see the one guide, it will, it'll line it up right with the other one that's there. Now I'm gonna click on that when it's the cross arrow so I can duplicate that whole box again and this is our final piece is to add some color here so this box and this one I want to be the same color so I just shift I clicked on that one and I clicked on this one when it's that cross and you'll see there's a faint blue around those two selected this is not selected then box I can 
color those? Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Undo! I accidentally clicked off of them after I did it. The yellow scared me so much. Okay, let's pick a more subdued yellow. Then I click on that. And clicking and selecting, it just takes some practice. You'll get the hang of that. Reddish. And then I'll make this reach. Uh, and then let's make this bluish. Match our other one. And our final piece is we need to put in body text placeholder. Body text placeholder is any of these placeholders is where a person can type into the slide. This text box puts the text on the slide and they can't type into it. So we want body text. And we're going to put it inside here. And we're going to select that box so we can change that font to something that. I like to put the student font in something different than the rest so you can visualize what they typed and then duplicate that. And it takes some practice getting used to dragging these boxes all over the place and putting them where you want to. And duplicate it one more time. Now we have our traffic organizer all done. So if we go back to our presentation, we had a new slide and then the students, they can only click in where it says click to add text. None of this other stuff, look, I can't click and drag on any of this other stuff. I can't change it at all. So they can just go in and type what they want. Now, I said before, we were going to put all of our organizers in one file. See, I have all of mine in one file. Well, all of my two. And I could add more and more down here by view master, duplicate the blank one, rename it. So I could duplicate this, rename it, and then make a Venn diagram one. But how do we use those? They're all in the same one. Well, you'd create a new Google Slides assignment. Say this is your Google Slides assignment that they're going to be using for the unit or project they are working on. Over in my organizers, this could be any sort of project. I want a know what learn chart in this assignment that they're working on. If I click on it, see it's got an outline. I can copy and that copies that whole slide. Go over here and paste. And now I have that whole slide. Now Google Slides offers this import slides. Do not link or link to original presentation. Select do not link. Link to original presentation means I can change it in my original one and it'll change it on here. We don't want that because students are gonna be entering information. We just don't want that. So say do not link. So after I pasted, say do not link. So this could be what you're gonna share out in Google Classroom. And it has the know what learn chart already in there and they can go in and fill it out. Lickety split. If I also want a T-chart in there, I can copy the T-chart, go over there, oops, and edit paste, and it'll add the T-chart. Do not like. And so they can sit there and add in their title for it, however they want to do. In a nutshell, create a new organizer. Go to view, master, duplicate the blank. Oh, that's the Venn. See, it says Venn. Blank. Duplicate the blank and then create your organizer. Once your organizer is created, be sure to create a slide with that layout. So if we switch back over to our slides, you can click the down arrow, new slide with layout, and find our slide. And we'll use our blank Venn diagram that's not completed yet. That gives us our organizer as a slide that we can then copy and paste and put into other presentations. Now, where you get some ideas for organizers, I go to images. I'm not much of a designer. So I can say, search for Venn diagrams and then they give several different Venn diagrams. If you can't design a Venn diagram, you're worse off than I. It's two circles. <laughs> so maybe this wasn't a good example. But here, let's do a let's do a little harder example. 
<laughs> okay, this has some creativity. So you can get some ideas of different layouts, like look at that one. And just duplicate that in your, I like the clip art in this one. That's pretty cool. And you can just duplicate that in your organizer, those little ideas that are out there. And there's a ton of them. Ooh, look at that one. So that's pretty cool. This one adds different options to it. So that's, that's really cool. So that's where I get my ideas for the organizers. If you got something out of this video, be sure to hit the like button down below and visit my website over at educate.me. I post stuff every day. I hope that it's interesting to you. And as always, stay classy.